Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do a quick reading for you. Um, well, I don't know, it might be quick, it might be not quick. So anyway, um, thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and get into this. Thank you, God, for blessing the Aquarius Collective with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so um, I brought back something that hadn't been on the channel for a while. I, honestly, I, I'll just be honest. I found these because I got to put them up for myself. And um, anyhow, I found them, and I wanted to bring it back to the channel. So here they are, the shells. So I don't know if... How long you've been with me, been here at the channel, but um, the shells are back. So let's talk about it. Um, let's see. Let's see what's going on for my Aquarius. Collective energy for the Aquarius. Okay. So we have um, abundance coming out. I don't know if you can see that. Abundance. Okay. We have hidden. So something is hidden. Hidden feelings. Uh, emotions, um, secrets also is what I'm getting. Um, something, someone trying to stay hidden, N not, they're trying to stay, um, okay. Unscathed. Uh, somebody's trying to go around, um, what is that? Not revealing themselves, not re revealing their true self or their true intentions. Something is hidden here. Uh, abundance now this could be anything abundance in terms of money and material things abundance of you know emotional stability health joy peace so uh, whatever it is you feel like you need at this time do know that the universe is trying to give you an overflow of it an abundance of it um and then you have uh i miss you so you got the i miss you shell so maybe somebody's trying to keep hidden from you that they miss you or this is you, Aquarius. Um, they don't want you to pick up on their emotions. They don't want to tell you. Wow, Aquarius, you got the financial abundance, uh, Shell. So now you have you have an abundance of maybe love, joy, peace, uh, temperance, all of that coming together for you. And you also have the financial abundance uh, coming together for you, Aquarius. This looks so good. It could be an an issue where there's somebody that you are estranged from. They're missing you or you miss them or it's mutual. Smart. So you get the smart uh, shell. So you need to make a smart decision. Are you going to do the smart thing? Or you're making some very smart moves, maybe in terms of your finances. And that's why you are going to receive financial abundance. Um, you could be doing this now, need to do it, putting it in practice, uh, but financial abundance is here. Abundance is here. You being smart about how you operate, what you give yourself to, what you give your energy to. Um, and then we have mental issues. Oh, there we go. Got to mess it up, huh? So somebody may have some mental issues in here at the channel. We do not shun people with mental issues. Um, get the help that you need, uh, whether it is uh, counseling, medication, uh, just be aware um, so if you are dealing with mental issues, we, we hope that, uh, everything turns out well for you. And if you're dealing with someone with mental issues, undiagnosed or diagnosed, uh, do know that that those are issues you do not control. You cannot help that person. If you're not in the capacity of psychotherapist, psycho, uh, psychiatrist, uh, analyst in some form, if you're not in that capacity, then you cannot help them. And you need to kind of push them to getting the help that they need. You may also have to create boundaries between somebody who has mental issues, diagnosed or undiagnosed. Uh, sometimes this card comes, uh, sorry, not card, but this shell comes out when narcissism shows its face, either for you, Aquarius, or it, with whomever you're dealing with, friend, family, loved one, romantic partner, wh whomever. Um, so... Mental issues comes out with different um, dysfunctions in terms of your your mental capacity and how you how you operate, and um, I guess more so how you process you know 
in terms of your mental. So we got some shells there in terms of what's going on for you, Aquarius. Let's start pulling some cards. Uh, uh, okay, so we're going to start with the Butterfly Oracle deck first. Um, let's see. Hang on. Yeah. Start with the Butterfly Oracle deck first. Um, and we will talk about mental issues and, and what's going on here. If there, Let's keep harping on mental issues. We're not going to just talk about mental issues in this reading. Um, that might be a real big thing for you or someone that you're dealing with. I keep getting undiagnosed, okay? So maybe you're dealing with someone who has mental issues. It is undiagnosed. Uh, they think that they're getting away with this, that it's, you know, their slip is not showing, but it is. Um, her, like, mask coming off, so somebody's mask is coming off or falling off, or um, somebody was trying to mask it. Also in uh, drugs and alcohol, uh, sexual uh, pr promiscuity, um, just doing a lot of chaotic things, things that just don't make sense in terms of, uh, okay, culpability. Is it conducive to the outcome that you're looking for? All right, so what is Aquarius dealing with in this reading? Um, seeking and finding. So some of you are doing research, looking up things, ga gaining knowledge about um, somebody could also be looking in on you. They're trying to stay hidden in terms of not wanting you to know uh, that they're looking in on you, where there's social media asking about you, trying to show up at the same places uh, that you are. I'm really trying to stay, you know, in the shadows. Uh, also, this this comes out and it says, what you're looking for is looking for you also, Aquarius. So it looks like you're going to find something. You're seeking and you will find. Um, this could talk about putting yourself out there on the dating market. It could talk about so many different things where you show up prepared, where um, preparation meets opportunity and now you have success here for some of you, Aquarius. So that's really good. Wow, and that could be in the career sector. It could be in love. It could be in anything. This wanted to flip out. Okay, memories. <sighs> yeah, memories. They get in the way, right? Um, okay, so some of you, memories kind of pull you back, or this is someone else, and maybe that's why you have the I miss you shell. Now, you could miss someone. Aquarius or cross watcher, do not beat yourself up when you miss someone that maybe the relationship was rocky. They didn't treat you well. There was unfair treatment and you find yourself missing them. Well, in order for you to like them, fall in love with them, whatever it may have been at the time, there had to be some good times. So that's where your mind typically tries to take us, you know, um, in terms of human behavior, your mind doesn't try to bring up bad you know, uh, memories and nightmares and so forth. It tries to take you to a more euphoric place. Um, so you may be thinking about someone, um, or vice versa. They're thinking about you. Memories are resurfacing. You could be missing someone go through process that I miss this person. I miss them because answer the question and then move on. You don't have to go backwards just because you think about someone, they miss you or you miss them. It doesn't mean you have to run back to, you can just process the emotions. I miss them because around this time of the year, last year, or whenever we would be, you know, in a cabin celebrating together, having a good time. It's just bringing back really good memories, process the memories, the emotions, and move forward. It doesn't mean move backwards, okay? Okay, so we got some cards flipping out here. Um, all right, so I'm going to put those back because it's a lot. Um, let's see. Let's get a few more cards here. Volunteer. Some of you need to talk to somebody about how you feel. You need to get it out. You need to have a conversation. You need to volunteer how you feel. Some of you also need to do your benevolent work, your alms. Give away something. Buy someone else something. Take someone out. Do something for anybody else, whether it be loved one or stranger. Uh, to, to whom much is given, much is required. If you have much right now, 
definitely um, find a need and, and feel it, okay? Retirement. Some of you are changing uh, your job, okay? You could be changing your whole career path and um, you could be going from one career to another. Some of you could be just changing from one job to another. You're retiring something. Some of you are in the retirement age or you're looking forward to retirement. You're, you're planning for retirement. Uh, and maybe that's why you're seeking and finding. You're trying to come up with knowledge in terms of how to increase your funds, your money, parental care at the bottom of the deck. Some of you could be planning uh, for, yeah, for retirement for yourself, maybe around your parents or parent. Um, you could be a parent. You need to look in on your children. You need to ask questions. I don't know. Um, a lot of that is coming up here. Um, retirement. Some of you are saving for your retirement plans or you're looking over that. This is the end of the year. You're getting end of the year uh, statements in terms of retirement. Um, some of you are going to retire from one job at the end of the year. Let's see. <clears throat> okay. They want to be, go here. So now we're going to pull from the angel answers deck and get you some answers. Uh, Aquarius. Let's see. What do we want to, what do we want to tell the Aquarius? All right, let's see. Don't stop. Whatever it is you're doing, seeking and finding, um, going through the only way through is through you know the only way to end this is going through it don't stop whatever it is you're doing you have gained some momentum in your life um and it looks good it's taking you to a place of abundance financial abundance abundance um you're making some really smart decisions here especially with retirement your money uh, you, you're learning so much. You're picking up books. You're increasing your knowledge. Um, let's see what else. Uh, choose a new direction. And this could also go for retirement. Some of you are choosing to go in a new direction in terms of, okay, I heard of some of you retiring a relationship too. You're choosing a new direction in terms of relationships, romantic relationships, friendships. Some of you are retiring, of course, career. You're concerned about when you will be able to retire. You're getting very serious about your life, making some smart decisions. You're choosing a new direction from what you used to do, how you used to think, how you used to be with money, material possessions, romantic situations. You're choosing to go in a, a different direction here. In the near future, it looks like in the near future, you could have abundance, financial abundance, because of the smart decisions that you're making now. Something is being held back from you right now because there's a bit more learning um, for you to do. Uh, but it's, it's coming in for you. This card wanted to come out. Wow, it's up to you. And there are helpful people around you. Volunteer. Um, yes, talk to someone. Uh, gain knowledge about uh, helpful people. And then it's up to you. So some of you, the cards want you to know that there there are people around you who um, will help you. And then you, okay, I just heard on the flip side of that, some of you need to be helpful people. You have a lot. Whether you don't feel like, whether it is you, you feel like you don't have enough to share, you have enough. Be that helpful person or ask for help because success is here. Wow, Aquarius. Very, very, very good reading. Um, it seems like it's all about you right now. And uh, that could be very good for you, uh, especially for some of you who were putting a lot of energy, time, effort into other people, other things, not putting yourself first. Uh, being uncaring to yourself, you know, so in the near future, it looks like you're going to have success. It's up to you. What do you want? How do you want your life to look? It's up to you how this pans out and, and what you get. Uh, you are the co-creator in your life. Spirit, you don't just find spirituality and then the uh, mystical beings just float you through life and you don't have to make another decision about anything you know, for the duration of your life. No, it don't work like that. You're a co-creator. If you choose to do nothing, guess what happens? Nothing. Nobody is coming to knock on your door and pull you. Nothing, you know, nothing out of the sort. So just um, make sure that you are active 
in terms of your goals, your the achievements that you have set for yourself. Um, make sure that you're active. You're actively doing something towards that. Always remember, Aquarius, it is for us to do the possible. And it's for God, whatever your God is, whoever your God is, it's for God to do the impossible. It's for you to do the possible. And it's for God to do the impossible, Aquarius. All right, so let's talk about um, love here, maybe love relationships. Okay, they told me to go to another deck, sorry. Um, okay, so how is Aquarius coming? How is Aquarius approaching love relationships right now? How is the Qu Aquarius Collective? Okay, that's how you march. Um, maybe you feel like something's going to turn over for you in March in the near future. Um March 2022, you feel like right now, this is the time for you to heal, be by yourself, um, process some of your thoughts and your emotions. Um, maybe you feel like in the spring, you'll feel better. You'll want to get out. Um, maybe, okay, there, maybe, I heard there would be a reconciliation. Wow, as I say that, you are my sunshine. So um, Aquarius, it looks like you are approaching relationships uh, renewed. Um, joyful, playful, open, vulnerable. So, and if you're not approaching him like that right now, you will be. How is the person that the Aquarius is coming to the reading? How are they approaching? Shit, angry. <laughs> I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing with you, Aquarius. Okay, so your person is approaching... Uh, the relationship with you, any type of love relationship, they're approaching it angry. They're angry about something. Uh, let's see. Um, okay, so they're angry, but they're saying, I love everything about you. And they mean everything. Um, this person could be angry, Aquarius, because back to what we what I said earlier, it looks as if the Aquarius is taking, you know, a different approach to any type of relationship and they're putting all focus on themselves. So you may be an Aquarius who says, you know, this is time for me to focus on me, my goals, my aspirations, my dreams. And you may not be giving love time of day. Once again, you may be saying I'm, I, put, I put love on the back burner. Uh, maybe I'll approach love later, you know, in, in spring, um, uh, just, you know, in a different time, it's not the time. So your person could be angry that maybe you cut them out. Um, this person hiding several secret affairs from you. Yeah. And we had hidden. So maybe this person was hiding the fact that, um, either they were in a, an, an affair with you. They had several different people. Um, yeah, they were hiding something from you. They're angry because you're not giving them the time of day, Aquarius. Um, it looks as if they want you back. Okay. I don't know what they're offering. So we'll go into that. Let's see. What is the advice for Aquarius dealing with love? What's the advice for Aquarius? What is the advice... You okay? Also, with March, I'm getting. I just heard like some of you may be approaching love and relationships, or maybe you know any type of relationship you're in right now, very systematically. Like you, like to march. If if, if a band is marching, everybody's you know in on you know in sync. It's a system to it. If there is a you know the army is marching, everybody is in sync. So maybe you're trying to wait for something to get, you know, for things to kind of fall in place, get in sync for maybe you and your person to find some significant rhythm. It seems as if maybe you're waiting for something to kind of come together between you and someone else. Um, the advice for Aquarius, you are just right for me. Okay. Aquarius, if you are dating someone and it's going well, this person is right for you. We got wait for me coming out. Um, Aquarius, you could be the person who maybe you're already tied up in a relationship. You may be asking someone to wait for you, work with you. Please work with me. 
Somebody could be looking at you, Aquarius, as a sexy wife or Aquarius, this is what you want. Um, yeah, somebody is already committed because we've got the I'm tired of being a husband or a wife card. And this is just about the sex. Somebody is taking some time to mature. They're maturing. Um, somebody wants to tell you something also. And it could be that maybe a relationship that they are a part of or that they were in or that they went out and they sought after. It was just about the sex. They feel like you're sexy, you're mature, or they need to mature. Um, they were tired of being a husband or a wife or a girlfriend or a boyfriend or showing up in a committed capacity. And maybe they went, you know, chasing someone else. Let's see. How does Aquarius person feel about love and romance right now? They're saying, I would choose you. Ooh, somebody could be a gold digger. Um, somebody could be dealing with a gold digger also. Um, I would choose you. So this part that tells you that they have options. They're still keeping their options open. Um, they could be measuring you up or weighing you up against someone else. Maybe against this gold digger. Aquarius, some of you could be dealing with a gold digger. Uh, yeah, someone is, saying, someone is saying, I would say I love you, but I don't know what love is. So somebody's not even in a place where they understand love. Uh, they just understand, you know, relationships and just doing stuff together. But they don't understand what true love is. Um, somebody could be addicted to you or this person could be addicted to you. And they're asking, will you have my baby? It seems as if they want some tie to you, some tether to you. Yeah, and at the bottom of the deck, I am dating other people. And we got that also with the I am hiding several different affairs. Um, so we've got a person who is keeping options open. They would choose you. They could be addicted to this gold digger or this type of um, sexual person. Somebody does something, you know, uh, it's just about the sex here. Maybe they're di addicted to someone, someone else's sex. Um, somebody does something maybe you don't do. Somebody is, a, a, um, you know, a bit loose in terms of their, um, you know, their morality and um, in terms of being chaste oh, and, and, or or more so. Um, maybe this person is, you know, you and your person could be different in terms of how you look at sex and um, sexual relationships. Maybe you feel like you need to be more. Uh, you need to be in a more of a committed capacity for you to really have sex with somebody, or at least you want to know them in some way. And your person could be kind of loose in terms of how they look at sex and sexual relationships. They're open. They're open to the opportunity. If the opportunity presents itself, they're on top of it. You know, uh, so maybe this brings a lot of conflict between the two of you. You both don't want the same thing is what I'm hearing. Let's see. Let's pull our big cards out. Let's see what's going on. What do you want to tell the Aquarius about their person? What do you want to tell the Aquarius about their person? What do you want to tell the Aquarius about their person? Let's see. Yeah. Uh, can't keep steady work and they do late night creeping. And sometimes this card, can't keep steady work, will come out for somebody who can't keep a steady relationship. And I think, I think we just went over that. They're just, you know, maybe a little bit, they have, you know, lax, you know, um, standards and rules in terms of a relationship you both don't see eye to eye about that so they can't keep up one steady relationship they like to keep maybe multiple yeah multiple relationships going um they like you know they like the fact of sneaking around and having a sneaky link you could have been the other person that they were sneaking with whether you knew it or you didn't you knew it or you didn't know um you know some people just like the whole idea of getting away with something also especially for those of you who are engaged in third party situations and you know about it um somebody likes the whole forbidden taboo type of energy to where you know they're sneaking off and running off and going to it makes for the relationship the sex to be better you know um somebody likes that 
you know, there's a verse in the in the Bible. It says, um, what does it say? It's uh, stolen waters. Now I'm paraphrasing, and I don't think I'm saying the entire uh, verse, but stolen waters are sweeter. So somebody feels like to be doing something sneaky, um, stolen, stealing away, they're feeling like that it's sweeter. It tastes sweeter. You know, it, it tastes better. When all actuality, that is just a d- dysfunction of the heart and the mental. Mental issues did come up. Let's see. Um, what can Aquarius expect from this person? What can Aquarius expect from this person? What can Aquarius expect from this person? They want to talk to you. Aquarius, they may try to reach out to you. Um, They understand that maybe they need to be around better people, new friends. You can expect promiscuity. Oh, Lord. Um, Okay, you can expect them to just be promiscuous like then i don't think they're going to change then you can expect like they want to do this whole makeup and breakup thing you know you make up you break up and then if you have sex with them then you to them that interprets that you guys are back together or, or it's back on and it says the toxicity like this person could just be in a very toxic energy it might be time for you to kind of cut your losses. And some of you have already done that. Some of you are at a place where you need to, right? You need new and real friends or this person knows that they need to be around new, real friends. Maybe they don't have that. Um, what you can expect from this person is them to never be able to finish anything. A Chinese uh, Chinese proverb uh, defines promiscuity as many starts. So no finishes, just many. Somebody will start over and over again. Back to can't keep steady work. One relationship, two relationship, three. You know, this is somebody who just is promiscuous. And you can be promiscuous in your career too. Um, where you're always jumping around from job to job. You just can't finish anything. You can't see anything through. Um, you could be dealing with someone who is promiscuous in all facets of their life career, finance, love, romance, they just can't get it right. Um, this person could be coming to you because they're not physically attracted to their partner or this is how you feel, Aquarius. Um, let's get a few more cards in here and finish this up. What do you want to tell the Aquarius spirit? All right, that one to pop out right Somebody's saying, look, I'm aware of the shit I've done. Excuse me. I'm aware of the shit I've done. Please forgive me. So it's like somebody knows that they have treated you very unfair. They have been a bad person in terms of, you know, showing up in the relationship. Oh, sorry. All right. So let's see. These, all of these cards wanted to come out. Let's see. Let's talk about it. Um, you are the most understanding person I've ever met. I'm going crazy without you. So there is an element of some of you are estranged. You're, you're, um, separated from this person. You don't want to talk to them because we did see Aquarius going through a very independent individual, um, time for themselves because it looks like Aquarius is trying to create abundance, not just in finances and, and you will have it because you got that shell that came out. But just abundance of, you know, peace, love, joy. Who wants to wake up mad every day because you're dealing with a crazy person? So they're going crazy without you. They need your energy because they could be addicted to you, addicted to your good nature. Um, sex magic is what I perform on you. This is what they want to do. They want an opportunity, once again, to have sex with you, to, to um, bring you back in. I don't think they have much to offer, but they definitely just want to have you. They like to have people fight over them. Okay, I like to have people fight over me. 
This could be you too, Aquarius. And someone is saying, look, I'm no longer digmatized. Okay. You can't, you can't do sex magic on me because, um, sex is not what I'm really focused on right now. And I'm good, you know, thank you, but no, thank you. So this person likes to have people fight over. This is somebody with low vibration, low self-esteem. If you really get down to the root of the matter, um, again, just prompt they're promiscuous because they don't really feel good about themselves they feel like they need to always be keeping up all of this hoopla and all this these different energies around them right this person needs to question their desires are they pure their heart chakra their heart chakra is effed up to the core that could be you too aquarius um somebody you know um Somebody's desires are just not, not right. They're not in alignment. Somebody's chakras are definitely out of alignment. Um, I lie all the time, especially to women. Who, who the hell are y'all dealing with? Or who were you dealing with? This is crazy. Let me get out of here. 30 minutes talking about this crazy person. Uh, and maybe this will just be validation for somebody. And yeah, just looking at you gets me in the mood. This person is highly sexual. I think they lead with the wand or with the wop, whatever. Um, and that's really all they have to offer. And this is how they trying to keep people, you know, and, um, you know, it's good for a while. And then you kind of get over it because, uh, we have somebody saying, look, I'm no longer digmatized or, you know, you can't get me with that wop no more. Um, let's see. Somebody saying, I just don't care. It could be them. It could be you, Aquarius. This is an eight-party relationship. I'm open to everybody. So this person is just not exclusive. They love to um, have so many different people. It's because they don't they don't have to be serious to anybody, to anything. Um, they can just hop, hop, hop from here to there to the next person. Uh, they don't have to process their emotions if they have any they don't have to settle down. They don't have to settle down within themselves. They can always be on level 10. This is somebody who's just, uh, they're saying, look, Aquarius, you're super hot. You're, you're super smart, super hot, and your sex is fire. We've got so many sex cards here. This person is very sexual. This is what they lead with. They may be, and then we also have that card of this is just about the sex. So maybe for you or for them, it was just that it was just about the sex or it maybe it was for the both of you. Maybe that's how it started. It was just about having sex and maybe somebody caught feelings. Um, they are now addicted, especially if somebody has withdrawn their energy. Somebody is saying we both are cheaters. So why not get back together? Somebody could be looking at you, Aquarius, as you, you haven't cheated on them. You know, after you found out that they were just low down, you maybe you went and found somebody else or you already had someone else. Um, and now they're looking at you as a cheater. Aquarius or the other person could be saying, I'm out of here. It's just, it just doesn't, it doesn't serve me to stay. Like I'm getting nothing from this. Um, yeah. So, and then lastly, I fight the feelings I have for you. I will not let love in. So yeah, this is somebody who, and this is why they keep up so much energy around them. They do not want to, um, they don't want to process their emotions, their feelings. They don't want to let love in. So it's easy to have, you know, five, six different people that you're dealing with at a time. You know, you, you pick one up and then you put that one down and you go to the next one and pick that one up. You don't have to be serious about any of them. You don't have to really gain feelings or kind of, um, grow feelings for either one of them because you're, it's, it's like you're switching off, you know? So Aquarius and some of you, the relationship started and maybe it was just about the sex because somebody's saying you were a rebound. Okay. But the rebound turned into now that somebody, you know, the rebound person turned into now the other person being addicted, can't get enough of wanting the person to come back and somebody could just be very highly sexual in nature you know even if i'm getting that even if their vibration was higher you know like they were operating at a higher vibration and um really kind of ascended 
and um, focused and centered. Um, they would still have like a high sex drive or, you know, they, they kind of identify with uh, sexual activity. So uh, I, I think it's really this person's personality, but it's now coupled with, you know, um, them being very sexual. And now it's, it's coupled with a uh, low vibration, toxicity. So you got somebody who's already naturally, you know, sexy, sexual, and now they, and they have a low vibration. So that means that they'll do anything maybe with anybody. They're just open. They don't care. They have very loose standards in terms of their body and anyone else. So yeah, you've got somebody here who has a lot of maturing to do. They need to do that. Um, Aquarius run. If you're still dealing with this run, if you have gotten out of this great, um, it's going to always come up in the readings. It's always going to resurface because you can't, you can, but it's just not probable that you dumped somebody a month, two months, three months, four months, maybe even six months ago. And in, in the tarot in your life, maybe even if you went to therapy, therapy, um, it's not probable that they won't show up, you know, you may be over it and out of it, but scientifically they say it takes about eight months to really get somebody out of your system. And that's eight months cold Turkey, not looking at social media, not their social media, not contacting them, um, them not contacting you, nothing. And, it, and that's about eight months. It could take more, but it, eight months cold Turkey. So if you know that you have not been away from this person, eight months cold Turkey, but you keep coming to the tarot card readings and saying, why are they showing up? Well, you know, deal with it. It'll run its course. And if you're looking for someone new, we'll have readings about that, about a new person coming into your life. And even in those new readings, the old person resurfaces. It, it, it just happens like that. I just read the cards. I just, you know, I'm just here. So anyway, Aquarius, if you want to get your own reading like this one, you can go over to the website book there. You can ask questions by texting your question to the number below. Pay for your question, receive the answer to your question on your mobile device. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy out a coffee link. If you took anything from the reading, you can give back. Thank you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you. Take care.